front or behind and not in front of the horse's nose. This means the dog can run on either side or behind the horse, very close to the horse or up to one horse length away. The dog would be considered lagging if it runs, if it gets behind the horse more than a horse length. The dog would be considered wide if it got farther away from the horse than a horse length. The dog is allowed to change sides or move in and out as the situation demands, but the dog should have his attention on the horse and rider. Don't forget to keep your training up on the ground. Again, all the time you're spending on the horse, these things must first be trained for on the ground. Use a long line to reinforce off-leash recalls. Take the dog to a park or public field and practice your stays, your recalls. Will he come? Give lots of praise for reward or use food if you like. Polish your performance on the ground so that your dog will still obey when he's in an open field and you're on horseback. Okay. Practice your stays with distractions. Moving around the dog, requiring him still to stay in the position you've left him in. For the stay exercise, the dog can sit or down, but he may not change positions. Here is a picture of removing the leash from horseback. Now that your dog comes when he's called from the ground, you're ready to take the dog out off leash from horseback. Hi, mosquito. Mount the horse with the dog on leash, and when you're ready, remove it. In this example, I'm using the leash as a correction by swinging it in front of the dog's nose. Again, when I swing the leash to move the dog back, I repeat the command and then I praise. Use praise and voice corrections to keep the dog in position. If the dog wanders or moves out of the position consistently, get off the horse, snap the leash back on and practice more with the leash. Do you really need a horse for road trial training? Well, not all the time. If a horse is not readily available to you, you can use the same training methods to teach the hawk from a bicycle or a four-wheeler. Using a leash, collar, collar corrections, and praise, train the dog to hawk to the bike or vehicle. I use the command hawk from the bike. Also practice your stays on leash from the bike. When the dog is ready, you can remove the leash or drop the leash and continue your hawk training. Practice stays off leash and recalls from a moving bicycle. This will teach the commands to the dog, simplifying the transition to horseback. Here is a recall off leash from the bike. Again, the bike is moving forward just like the horse would be. At some point, however, you will need to work the dog with the horse. Many road trial competitors have had great success with this bicycle method. Will he fit? Stay.
When your dog comes reliably on the ground and hawks reliably in the familiar area close to the barn, English saddle, you may wish to have a saddle pad to make it more comfortable. I also You're ready for a trail a ride. It actually fits on the saddle. The saddle bag fits over the edge of the English saddle, holds water bottles or leashes, has my first aid kit, my raincoat, things that I'll need on the ride. These are covers for the stirrup leathers. When I ride, I put these Velcro covers on to help make the stirrup leathers more comfortable throughout the ride. They fit up. If you ride with a western saddle, you may have a padded seat and you will have saddle strings to tie on a saddle pack. But the western saddle is much heavier than the English saddle and therefore more weight for the horse to carry. When I ride on a long ride, I use my English saddle. I have these covers for the stirrups. They're Velcro on so you don't get pinched. This is a water bottle that attaches to the saddle. And this is a saddle pack that I can put two water bottles in or I have a leash in this one. I have my first aid kit and a raincoat and things in here. You should also keep a leash with you on a trail ride along with water and first aid supplies. Just because your dog has learned to hawk does not really mean he's in condition to go 12 and a half or 25 miles. Condition your dog for the trail by going on bike rides, long hikes or walks, or long horse rides. The dog should go a minimum of three to five miles a day, three to five days a week in the weeks preceding the tri trial. You'll also want to check the dog's pads regularly. I apply a pad toughener called Tanagel to help toughen the pads. This is especially important for dogs that are normally couch potatoes. Thank you, Willie. Day. Now you will want to polish your performance in the exercises. Practice a stay with the leash attached first. If you have done your groundwork, the dog should respond well. Yep. Always You're move on. the horse away from the dog as soon as you have given the stay command. You may con command the dog to sit or down, but you may give only one command without losing points, and the dog must remain in the position you left him. Lily. Stay. When you are working off leash on the horse, use your voice. Poochie, stay. Here Poochie was eating the grass. Good dog. Good boy. Give lots of praise. From here on out I will just... Here is an example of a dog that got up on the sit. The handler wisely recommanded the dog to sit before the dog had a chance to move from the spot. Because the dog didn't move away and because the dog resumed the sit stay, the dog lost substantial points but still qualified. To train for the distraction exercise, arrange for a helper to walk by with another dog on leash. Correct your dog if it moves towards the distraction. If you often meet loose dogs on your trail ride or bike ride, Use this experience to train for the distraction. Riding the bike through the neighborhood where there are loose dogs can often be a great distraction practice. Here you see practicing the distraction with the dog that my dogs already know. You'll need to practice with a dog that they don't know if possible. Here you see a distraction exercise where the horse was spooked by a canopy. The dog moves quickly away from the bucking horse, which is acceptable, but then he goes directly to the distraction. In this instance, the judge suspended judging of the exercise when the horse began bucking. The exercise was repeated and the dog was given another chance. When the horse finally behaved himself, the dog passed the distraction without a problem. If you have trained your dog well for the recall on the ground, the dog should come well from the horse. 
The first few times you call the dog from the horse, you might want to let the dog drag the leash. If the dog refuses to come, you can do a flying dismount where you hop off the horse and grab the dog's leash. Of course, if the dog starts to come to you after you dismount, praise the dog and do not correct. You may wish to use the command come or you may wish to call the dog directly to hawk. Willie! Pootie! Hawk! Willie sit! Hawk! Pootie hawk! Willie Hawk, Poochie Hawk. This is an example of a dog that waits to hawk. The dog should come to you, not wait for you to come to him. This is an example of a dog that comes in for the recall. Here they are, they are called. But the dog, one dog becomes distracted upon arrival. The handler recommands. The exercise is over and she releases them. During the speed exercise, the dogs are not required to remain in the hawk position. They may run in front, beside, or behind the horse, but their attention must be on the horse and rider. Good, Willie. This is an example of dogs that do not have their attention on the rider. When I practice for the speed, I first say, let's go, and let the dogs run. Later, I tell the dogs to hawk, and I just canter. If they can hawk safely at a canter, I increase the speed, talking to the dogs to keep their attention. Here's an example of a horse that is cantering, not galloping. The regulations require for at least a hand gallop. You may lose points for handler error if your horse canters instead of gallops. The horse is not expected to gallop the whole way. He should start at a canter and increase to a hand gallop by the time you reach the end of the exercise. For this exercise, be certain you can handle a galloping horse and that your dogs know how to be cautious. Once you have done your groundwork, conditioning, and trail work, you should have a very well-behaved dog. The Road Dog and Road Dog Excellent titles are only titles, but the dog's training will make him more pleasurable his whole lifetime. My coaching Dalmatians are a favorite in local parades and a favorite in my home. Go ahead and try it. You won't regret it. And here's Willie in the parade. Willie and Poochie. Thanks for watching. Good luck to you all.